Hello, we are on our second set of notes for inequalities. You should have this note sheet in front of you. Please put your name and date at the top as always so that when you show us your notes, we know they're yours. At the top of your sheet, it should say solving inequalities using addition and subtraction. I'm going to skip the writing part for now and I'm going to go down to the bottom because I think that you guys can help me figure this out without taking a lot of notes first. We're going to try number 10 has two equations, two inequalities, I'm sorry. The first one says g minus 3 is less than negative 6. And I want you to remember that if we were doing an equation, a regular equation, and we were solving it, the first thing we would look for are all of the constants, to put the constants together. On the left side of this inequality, we have negative 3 or minus 3, and that's the part we need to move to the right side. So we do the opposite, or the inverse. In this case, it's add. Again, remember, I'm using my mouse pad, and it doesn't come out very well sometimes. Whatever I do to the left side, I need to do to the right side. I draw my line underneath to show that I'm adding or subtracting. These have canceled out because negative 3 and positive 3 is 0. I have a g. My sign, my inequality sign, stays the same, is less than. Now, you will use your calculator if you need to, but don't forget, negative 6 and positive 3, the signs are different. We find the difference. The difference between 6 and 3 is 3, and there were more negatives than positives, so it's a negative 3. Now, before I graph it, let's do a check. The very first thing we always do, even, even in an inequality, is to write the original, I can't speak, the original inequality. So g minus 3 is less than negative 6. Now, what I got for this is g is less than negative 3. So I can use any number that's less than negative 3. I think I'll use negative 6. Does everybody understand this? I'm looking for numbers that are less than negative 3. Actually, I'm going to do this right now. Let's graph. I know my solution is negative 3, but because it's less than and not including negative 3, it's an open circle. Now, g is less than those numbers, so less than goes to the left, and I draw my arrow to the left, drawing the arrow on it. Now, if you need to, if it makes things a little bit easier, I'm going to make my line a little thicker so you can see it. It should actually be right on, and remember this is an open circle, okay, does not include the negative 3. Okay, let me go back to a thinner marker here. Now that means I could use negative 5, I could use negative 4 to check my solution, so let's do that. Let's say negative 4, and you can pick any number, minus 3 is less than negative 6. Well, the signs here are the same, negative 4 and negative 3. That means we find the sum. The sum of negative 4 and negative 3 is negative 7. Is negative 7 less than negative 6? Yes. Put a check. It does work. Let's try the next problem. I have w plus 14 is greater than or equal to 10. I need to move my constant, so I'm going to move the 14. The first thing I'm going to do is the opposite, so the opposite of positive 14 is negative 14. Whatever I do to the left side, I have to do to the right. Draw my one line underneath. I'm left with W is greater than, or, or in this case, equal to, and I have 10 minus 14. Now don't forget, if, it's, if there's no sign in front of the 10, it means it's a positive. Are the signs the same or different? The signs are different. Find the difference. The difference between 10 and 14 is 4. I have more negatives in this case. So W is greater than or equal to negative 4. Now, I'm not sure if you can see here. I'm going to make this a little bit thicker here. Um, I need, let me see if I can shrink this up a little bit. Ah, simple. Here we go. I need to draw a closed circle this time on negative 4, and I don't know if you can see mine because I think it's been cut off, but try your best. So I'm going to draw a closed circle. I'm going to draw it really big so you can see. But this time, W is all of the numbers greater than this, so it's going to go to the right. 
zoop, like this. Now, let me get the thinner marker. To do our check, we're going to rewrite the original. W plus 14 is greater than or equal to 10. Now, I can choose any number on this line. And because negative 4 is part of the solution, I'm going to just pick ne negative 4. So I'm going to write negative 4 plus 14, never mind the noise, is greater than or equal to 10. In this case, the signs are different, so we find the difference. 14 and 4, the difference is 10. I had more positives than negatives. Is 10 greater than or equal to 10? Yes, it is check. I'm going to pause my video right now so I can scroll up. Okay, now we're at the back. We're back up at the top of the page because now I think that you'll be able to help me figure this out. I also put the answer key up here because you know my writing is not good on this mouse pad. So number one, it says to solve and graph an inequality, we use the inverse operations to isolate the variable. So make sure you write inverse just as you would solve an equation. I hope you noticed that when we just solved this inequality, we did it in the exact same way we would have an equation. It just gets people a little bit nervous when they see the inequality signs. It seems more complicated. It is not complicated. It's the same as an equation. So number two says the inverse operation of addition is subtraction. Three says the inverse operation of subtraction is addition. You already know all of those things. Numbers four and five are review. If we're graphing an inequality where the number is the solution, we would also use a closed circle because it includes that number. Make sure you write closed. Now, do you remember if it's not part of the solution, we use what kind of a circle? An open circle, correct. Number six says the addition property of inequality states that when you add the same number to each side of an inequality, the inequality remains true. It's the same thing we did with equations. Whatever you add to the left, you have to add to the right. Whatever you subtract from the left, you have to subtract from the right. I'm going to scroll down a little bit. You already know most of that. So number seven says the subtraction property of inequality states that when you subtract the same number to each side of an inequality, the inequality remains true. To check your inequality solution set, choose any number that is shaded in. We did that. You can choose any number you want. Usually I try to choose a number that's really easy to work with. Then evaluate the inequality with that number to make sure the inequality is true. Now, when we say evaluate, you're used to hearing it more like check, do your check. So when we evaluate, we find the value of that solution with our solution. We, try, we, find, the eval we find the value of the inequality with our solution to make sure it works. And then we solve and graph the inequality. Don't forget to check your answer. Don't forget, if any of this is confusing, we have some practice problems coming up.